Hello, it's me Joe again, and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to count the table of time with a metronome. Being able to count and play along with a metronome is pretty essential for any musical instrument, and that goes for drums, obviously, uh, just as much as anything else. So I would encourage you to get the hang of counting with a metronome. As a drum teacher, I've taught loads of people how to play along to a metronome. The vast majority of people don't immediately get it. They can't just put a metronome on and clap and count along to it accurately, or they can't just play a drum beat along to a metronome easily and expect it to work. The majority of people, in my experience anyway, need to learn how to do it. I would just start off counting and clapping quarters with the click and uh, let yourself relax into it. Don't try too hard to do it accurately. Just think of it as somebody in the room playing a cowbell and you're trying to synchronize yourself with them in a really relaxed way. Don't listen too hard to the click. One of the things I believe is happening with people who really struggle to synchronize themselves with the metronome is they're trying to anticipate the next clicking sound. And if you do that, I think it's just too much to process. What's happening when you're playing along with a metronome, and I think with other people as well, is you're allowing your body to rhythmically sympathize on some physical level with the, the clicking sound. Think about how you walk along in the street, and very often if you're walking with another person, you find that your steps are moving exactly in a synchronized manner with the steps of the person that you're walking next to, even if you weren't consciously thinking about it. I think, uh, well, it appears to me that human beings are quite naturally inclined to kind of tune themselves into another pattern or a, a rhythmic source of some sort. Learning to use your voice as well as moving when you're learning rhythm is very, very helpful in getting a, a strong uh, relationship to click or to the rhythms of other musicians that you may be playing with. Let's start with some quarter notes. I'm just going to start my metronome up, I'm going to clap, and then I'm going to count one, two, three, four. And I'm going to let each count, each number, fall with the click. Nice and relaxed. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I don't need machine-like precision here. I'm not a computer. I'm trying to be just in sync with the click. I'm making friends with it. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There you go. Those are the quarter notes. Isn't that exciting? A lot of the really uh, important stuff isn't that exciting. It's, it's kind of mundane. But if you get these things uh, into your guts really well, uh, I think uh, the, the benefits are, are too numerous to mention. Or maybe I'll try and numerously mention them at some point. Next, let's count eighth notes. Remember, I'm going to be clapping with the click on the quarters, and I'm going to be counting the numbers at the same time. Uh, in between that are my ands to count eighth notes. Here we go. One, and two, and three, and four, and... One and two and three and four and 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 okay good job. After eighth notes come eighth note triplets. And same again. I'm going to be counting the numbers which will be synchronized with my clicks and with my claps. And I'm going to be filling in the anders of the triplets in between. Here we go. One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a one, and a 
and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a the two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a and a one and a two and a three and a four and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a the three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a cool Last but not least, we're going to count sixteenths. And again, I know I keep repeating myself, but it seems to work. Um, we are going to be saying the numbers at the same time as the clicks and the same time as we're clapping. So we're counting on the quarters and then filling in the e and uh, element of the sixteenths. Here we go. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a Two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. Once you feel comfortable counting and clapping each of the subdivisions along to a metronome. And again, I suggest keeping it 60 BPM. You don't need to go any faster. We are going to play in sequence. We're going to count one bar of quarters, one bar of eights, one bar triplets, and one bar sixteenths. And we're going to repeat that cycle a bunch of times. Now again, this is very unglamorous and unexciting, but if you take a little bit of time every day to learn how to do this, if you don't already know, um, this will really give you a good solid foundation for being able to understand and play with different subdivisions. Here we go. Quarters, eighths, triplets and sixteenths, one bar each at 60 BPM. One, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and uh, two and uh, Four and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one, two. Three, four, one and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a. And a two e and a three e and a four one more time one two three four one and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a done. So that's the basic table of time clapping and counting to a metronome. I can't think of any circumstances where having the facility to play accurately with a metronome wouldn't be helpful to you. Whether or not you're recording in a studio, whether or not you're playing a live gig, it's not uncommon 
to play along to a click or just for practicing to make sure that your timing is as good as it can be. In the next videos, I'm going to show how to start bringing this onto the drum kit to be able to sort of turn this into stuff that you're actually going to use when you're playing. Thank you very much for watching this. As always, please subscribe to my channel if you find something valuable here and want to hear about the future videos that come out. And uh, of course, leave some comments for me uh, and let me know if this is interesting or not interesting and if there's any other topics you'd like me to copy. Now go away and practice.